and that is the Ford Ranger. If you want to read the full review, go to carsguide.com. Ah, so you come about wanting to know how to take good photos for your listing of the car that you're selling? Okay, just hang on a second, I've just got to finish this. .au. Right, okay, yes, I can help you with those photos. Look, believe it or not, as journalists, for any car that we review, we also take the photos. We also wash the cars. Yes, but anyway, we, we take the photos too, and we use one of these. And believe it or not, they are amazing, and I'm gonna show you all the little tips and secrets that only journalists know how to do. That's right, because there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And you're probably doing it the wrong way. In fact, I guarantee it. It's not your fault, no one's ever told you until now. Ready? Let's go. Okay, step one. I don't even know why this is a step. It's not even a step, it's just common sense. Clean the car, okay? Get everything out, okay? That means, uh, this stuff. Baby seats, nobody wants to see your baby seat, all right? Take it all out, all out, clean it out totally. Get it all out, make sure it's clean. Ugh. Get that out too. All right, uh, there, that's step one. Now, once you have cleaned your car, and I'm not talking about just taking everything out of it, but you've also vacuumed it and you've washed the outside of it as well, you can think about where to shoot it, your shoot location, okay? Now, don't shoot it in your driveway, don't shoot it on your neighbor's grass, it will look abandoned. Shoot it something like this at a deserted car park is perfect, okay? And choose an overcast day, not a day like today, a day where it's overcast because the shadows will be just right and the light will be just perfect. The next step is the shots. Now you only need to take seven, and I'm gonna show you which seven you need to take and how to take them, okay? We're gonna use this car. Okay, let's go. The first shot is a front three quarter. So get your phone camera out, go into auto mode, and I want you to get a front three quarter like that. The second vital shot that you need to get of your car is a rear three quarter. I'm talking about this angle right here where you can see in three dimensions, okay? Take it like that. The next shot that you need to take is of the front seats. Now, put the window down, open the door, and shoot like this. This is the next shot, it's the dashboard. It's the fanciest shot you'll do, and it always looks really good. Now, the front seat, on the passenger side, lower it all the way. Put the backrest all the way down. It takes forever. Da, 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 da. Once it's down, jump into the back. Now, you're coming through the back door. The seats come all the way down. Make sure the steering wheel is straight so it hasn't been turned. And get a shot from across this seat of the dashboard. It's amazing. Again, on an overcast day, you don't get any of these bright spots coming into the cabin. And it looks a lot better than this. Now obviously this is a ute and it doesn't have a boot, it has a tray, but the same goes for an SUV or a sedan or a hatchback. Again, make sure everything's out of there, it's totally clear and the lighting is good and stand back and try and get the entire boot or tray in. And now our engine shot, or if it's an electric car, get a motor shot if you can actually see it. I tend to open the bonnet and stand back like that. I get the badge in and some space around it or you can get a shot to the side like that as well. You can jump up on a curb if that helps too. Okay, just a couple of reminders. Don't get your shadow in the shot. Don't get your reflection in the shot. Make sure you clean your lens as well. That's really important. And if there are any other photos you wanna take as well, like the odor or any dents or imperfections or damage, do that as well. And there you have it. That is how you take great photos for your listing when you're selling your car. Good luck. Goodbye.